All right, hello everyone. I'm playing some more mini motorways today. Uh, I noticed earlier that there is a new level available. It's called Lisbon. I tried it once and I'll take you along for the ride and give it another go. When the round first started the first time, I had no idea what the map looked like and I chose roundabouts every time I had the opportunity and found that the map quickly transitions to a point where you're going to need some bridges so I highly recommend using bridges when uh, given the opportunity between a bridge and a roundabout so as uh, things progress just attach the homes that spawn to the corresponding colored shop and go for the highest score we can. Uh, earlier I looked at the high score and number one was about 5,000 trips so that's the goal. Just grabbing a quick pause here so that I can have a chance of well optimized road layout here. So I would recommend bridges, although when you start the game this layout doesn't have any need for bridges. You're quickly going to zoom out and have a river uh, that meets a coastline. So there's plenty of opportunity to use bridges on this map. So far we've been pretty unlucky with the way greys have been spawning. If the map expands to the north then we can redraw our lines and bring the greys around the top of this yellow, but if that doesn't happen then um, we'll have to figure something else out long term. If you hold down on the map you can see the current grid and it looks like the level is expanding in multiple directions so we should get the opportunity for for um, a northern expansion here soon I think sometimes you can lay roads on the far north and force the expansion it doesn't always work but sometimes it does. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, I'd love to see a northern expansion there. I'm going to continue choosing bridges. I think long term that's going to be the play. Really hoping for one more one more row of tiles to the north. We haven't gotten the the tile to the north as of yet. It keeps expanding. Uh, it looks like it's expanding south, east, and west, but not to the north. So, see what we can do here with these grays. Maybe we'll just, yeah, you know, just get a motorway and connect these over here. All right. So we have we have an opportunity here to segregate our traffic. We're going to keep these two pinks the far east attached to the north side and then these two bottom ones will be attached um, to this pink and then we'll attach yellow 
to the opposite side like this. We can get our one one more row to the north. That would be really nice. I don't know if oh, I don't know if this map even allows for a, a northern expansion. But if we can get just one more row, it would it would change the layout significantly. All right, so I'm going to put pause again and switch that over. All right, we finally have an available row of tiles to the north. So I've been waiting the entire round for that just to connect the the extra gray that spawned up here so that's a cleaner layout for us I could even tie this gray in and then merge it in over here might as well use that so it follows the yellow road With all of these yellows upgrading to the circle shops, hopefully we'll get some more yellow spawns that are usable. Um, I may end up, if I get a couple more here, I'll bring a motorway to this southern yellow and then divert these yellows to the opposite ones. I'll wait until I get uh, four, four available four available yellows before I attach. Well, I suppose I could attach them now, but then just not divert the other, the other shots until then. I think what I'll do is put this here attach my motorway to this and then I'm going to use it for both colors the way I just redrew these blue houses creates no intersection that's why I redrew it in that manner should be able to tell pretty readily why I was choosing bridges every time I had the option because it's pretty obvious now that you need all the bridges you can get on this map <coughs> so we have four grays over here I'm going to call that good and disconnect this one extra um, and then I'll steal one from here for now. If I find that this circle shop is struggling, I will divert some traffic over and share it. But for now, we'll leave it how it is. Hopefully I get a roundabout soon, because I don't like creating an intersection here but I also don't see a point in bringing two roads all the way across this area I can tie these yellows and pinks in together because they are going to a joint um, shopping center where both colors are equally needed so we're getting a lot of dual purpose roads here really hoping for 
a motorway soon so I can divert some of this joint traffic. This is all fine temporarily while demand is still relatively low. If we don't get a motorway in the next week, we're going to have to draw, you know, we're going to have to draw another bridge here to divert some of this traffic. So these yellows and cream color all up here are all going to go this way. Actually, we can we can just draw a bridge. So we've got a bridge in now instead of a motorway. I'd like to see some more pinks making it across this bridge. I'm going to take the cream colored houses on their own road to the south side. And then I'm going to divert these, the pinks that I'll make it over here. They're going to make a right hand turn to get off, but they are going to get diverted to the north side of the shopping center. These blues that are currently attached are going to go the entire distance over to this blue, and then this one is going to get the motorway that I deleted up here and utilize these blues with the, on the north side. And it's a 45 degree angle which is a nice efficient straight line. I don't know if it makes a difference but I like the way it looks. So things are going much smooth, much more smoothly with um, with this extra road. Right, choose our motorway, obviously. See if there's any immediate need for for that. One thing I could see is taking these three pink that are the farthest away from this side and I'm going to just bring them north on a bridge so we're future proofing that side a little bit. So I'm going to take this south here. So now we have four, five, we've got six pink attached to this one here, so I'm going to try and divert something somewhere else, give myself a little help there. I don't know what I can actually do at the moment. Uh, this pink is unusable on this bridge, so I'll just attach it down here, give us one more for across the way there. In this map I'm choosing bridges most of the time. Alright, so we have a gray. Uh, this gray is not actually attached to anything, so we can borrow that one for now and unpause and try to find some more some more available grays for, for this shop here. I 
I think when I reach 1500, I'm going to play at a uh, normal speed rather than two times speed. It will just give me a little bit better of a time here for seeing what's going on, so I'm less likely to lose catastrophically here. Alright, so we gain the yellow way down there. I think I'll take these that work farthest away, not being used, and bring them over. That looks to be the best solution for what I have right now. I don't like how long this blue has to travel to get over here. So I might have to look into a motorway. And I also have this set. Uh, this pink shop here only has two, two houses attached to it, which is not ideal. And this one only has one. Let's see what we can do to remedy that. You can just squeeze that one in, which will help a little bit. I'd like to get another pink attached here. I only have three at the moment. I do have one motorway, but I don't have very many unused pink. I could just do this, which will allow any of these unused ones to go to either of these two shops. It's not ideal to have that as a intersection, but it's only a one color intersection, which isn't usually as problematic. Alright, so I just got a yellow down here, which had... There's no yellow currently on this road, so I'm going to... I think I'm going to have to use the motorway for that. But that's why I saved them, so that when I have no alternative, that's the uh, solution I can come up with. If we see any really long roads, like, like this blue that is traveling the full distance of the, the way, I would prefer not to have to do that. So if at some point I can remedy that situation, I will. I'm going to add one more pink to this network. And I'm also going to take these blues around the back. It'll be very slightly longer. Actually, that's pointless. But I am going to attach this pink in. I think I will continue this direction here. Uh, so the blues will make a right hand turn into into the shop there. It's not going to save much time, but it will save just a, a little bit. All right, this gray shop I just realized we never we never hooked it up with any more. which means it's only got one and we need to find some more supply for this this gray shop here uh, let's see what we can do and that will save a couple of tiles but that doesn't get us any more gray in there mm -hmm. 
those four yellows are the only going up into there. My extra yellows are up in the top corner and then right here I have some that are unused. I'm hoping to find some unused gray. So right here there are four houses that have cars in, in them. So I am going to divert this yellow to the north, which will open up a lane here. And I'm going to pull dual use out of these grays up top. Currently there is a, a car in this house, this house, and two in this one. So I'm going to take the extra one and add it to the network where I just uh, pulled extra grays from. So yeah, now there should be there should be enough supply for this gray here. Hopefully it will yeah, it looks like it's just catching back up now. It, there are left turns happening, but there's only one gray house over there, so it shouldn't be too bad. And this gray here I could attach to the north, but it would have a very roundabout path to get here. So I think I'm better off leaving it disconnected from the network. Sometimes you just have to know when the house is actually going to do you harm rather than good. Now that this blue is upgraded, I'm thinking about running a motorway from these pinks over to here so I only have one color of traffic on this road. I probably should do that. And then I can bring these farther blues into play a little bit more efficiently. Not to mention that these pinks are technically connected over here and that's a really long drive which is bad for traffic as uh, time goes on. Extra motorway means I am definitely going to connect the pink over here so that I have um, only blue traffic on this on this really long road here and that also means if I change this road ever so slightly I think I can oh, eliminate Let's see. It, it, there might be an intersection created right here. I'm not 100% sure on that. But I think it, I think it eliminated the intersection there. Uh, so yeah, let's let's just play that for now. If this blue to the very end upgrades, I'm gonna have to draw a motorway over there because that that is by far the longest travel distance of any of these colors here. I have one bridge available. I'm going to try to save it for now. This is just shortening that road a little bit. Let's see, I've got two pinks attached there and then several down here, but those are doing double duty, so we're going to leave those connected. They're all being used at the moment. I think every pink is being used at the moment. Yes. So if I lose due to pinks, it's likely the drive time is too long for something here. Hopefully I don't lose due to pink, but you never know. All of these blues up here in the middle, it's possible that I could connect them into this roundabout and then bridge across. 
but there is no really good way that I can see to utilize those. I just saw a way to edit the gray path to eliminate the intersection, which I did, and that will uh, speed up traffic. I'm going to choose the roundabout this time around. I think I probably have an intersection or two that could benefit from it. Have a look. <clears throat> I'm not seeing it right off the bat, but I'm not seeing it's not there either. Um, I do have a bridge available, so I am going to draw a direct route for the cream color and then they will not be sharing the yellow path anymore which is the the best way to ensure smooth traffic so now we have all of these cream directly attached here and I can eliminate this roundabout which will shorten the drive time for yellow as well I now have three blues that are pretty much unusable that I could motorway to this far end supplementing. I would like to only use these blues over here but I don't know if they can support it or not I think I'm going to give it a shot though so I'll just break this road for now and see what happens over here Alright, so we have a motorway. I have uh, this blue is struggling, but I think it will catch up. This cream is struggling, and there is a really long path. Notice these houses to the far side over here are all empty, which means they're all being used over here. So I'm going to motorway the back end of these so, on, so now only these closest four will drive directly and then all of these over here will take the motorway hopefully that will speed things up a little bit At the end of the next week, if I get a bridge, I'm going to redraw this yellow bridge directly into here so I can, I'll have a little bit more real estate where maybe some more blue houses can spawn. But I'm not going to redraw that until I have a new bridge in place. We're just too far along and you can lose immediately. So this blue is finally just about caught up. I think it's at max volume. Yeah, these these blues are just not keeping up. I think I'm probably going to lose. Yeah, those five cars or the the five houses just couldn't supply enough. Let's see how we did. Thirty six eighty six is a top 2% listing. Um, the, like I said, this is a very new map, so that's good for 17th place for now. I think... I didn't take a screenshot, but I think, I think that uh, this map 
I'm thinking probably seven or eight thousand within the next day or so will um, will definitely be possible. So yeah, uh, top seventeen right now. Just my second time playing this, and I hope you learned something, gave you some good ideas for what you can try.